All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the roots of an equation using the quadratic equation. A lot of times also we um, substitute roots for solutions or we also substitute in x-intercepts. So <clears throat> what I did was I gave you guys this problem and we came up with three different answers. So what I'm going to do is we're going to work through the problem and see which group did it correctly or if any of them did it correctly at all. First thing we have our problem, which is x squared minus 6x equals negative 10. Remember, to put it in the quadratic formula, we have to be able to find out what our a, b, and c is. So to find out what our a, b, and c is, we have to put our equation in this format, ax squared plus bx plus c. Right now, our equation is not in that form. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to transfer this to uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals, c, e, <laughs> equals 0, 4. What I did was I added the 10 to both sides to get a positive 10. From here, I can now say that A equals 1, B equals negative 6, and C equals 10. So now what I'll do is I'll plug this into the quadratic formula, which is opposite of B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. So when doing that, I have 6 plus or minus square root of 6 squared really matter which thing. 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times C which is 10 all over 2 times 1. And a lot of times what we like to do is we notice that the number under the radical is our discriminant. It's very easy. I like to go ahead and do this always first and kind of separately to go and see what exactly my solutions are going to be. Um, so if I did my discriminant, I would have 36 minus 40, and 36 minus 40 is a negative 2. And if you guys can remember, if you guys can remember your rules uh, for a discriminant, whenever you're a discriminant, it's a negative. Here we are. I'm thinking ahead of my problem. Um, it's going to equal a negative 4. <clears throat> so now, if you guys can remember, whenever you have a negative number as your discriminant, you know you're going to have two complex solutions. Um, and a couple things, when you, it's positive, that means when it's greater than 0, and it's a square number, you're going to have two uh, real rational. When it's, um, when it's positive, but it's, uh, when it's a positive answer, but it's not a square number, you're going to have two irrational solutions. And when your discriminant equals zero, you're going to have one, uh, one real root. So therefore, I turn this down to six plus or minus the square root of negative four divided by two. Now, to simplify the square root of negative four, I'm going to again do this on the side. We got to remember about our i in complex numbers. Remember, we cannot we cannot take the square root of a negative number. However, we can break this down into the square root of negative one times four. And we remember that the square root of negative 1 is i. So this can be broken into i times square root of 4. And obviously the square root of 4 is 2. So therefore, and I'm sorry guys, I should have wrote in. I should have done this from a long time ago. Remember that x is going to equal, these are our roots, these are our solutions, these are x-intercepts. So our value of x equals this equation. So now we have x equals 6 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. Now I notice that these all share a 2, so I can factor out a 2. So factor out a 2, take out a 2, take out a 2, I'm left with 3. So now x equals 3 plus i, and x equals 3 minus i. Because those 2's cancel out, and I factor out 3. And therefore, my answer is this group right here. Nice work, congratulations. So that's how you find the roots of an equation using the quadratic using the quadratic formula.